fucking, uh, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, this is kind of messed up. Um, I haven't been hiking for a while. And here's why. So, my friend Dan was hiking the Ozark Trail here. And, um, I was meeting him at the Courtois section to kind of resupply and stuff like that. So, I left Fenton, Missouri, uh, where I work, uh, a little bit early that day and drove down to Hazel Creek Campground. And, yes, here it turned into a dirt road. So, well, oh, this is uh, turning out to be a very interesting trip already. I had to stop and take a little, um, I had to get an oil change, and my GPS thought it's going to be a lot faster for me to get to this campsite this way, apparently, and um, it's not much more than a cow trail. Although, to be fair, um, ooh, that was a turkey. Uh, I'm very used to roads like this back home in Mississippi uh, and as an extra bonus um, this has been freshly graded I should have started the video back in the one that was not freshly graded but um, yeah I've had, a, had enough time uh, going down through here to go hey I should do a video, right? Um, there's been a couple of uh, a couple of washes across the road where I had to uh, take it slow and easy. But um, other than that, I mean, this section being freshly graded is uh, pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> like I said, it's already an adventure. So, um, yeah, very glad I got out of the office uh, on time. My car was complaining that it was uh, well past time to get an oil change, so I did that. So, uh, I got about four more minutes to get to the campsite. Oh, oh, oh. I have put the car into... Uh, four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, whatever. Anyway, my first video for my hiking adventure. I went all through here. Came out this little dirt road here. I was so close to pavement here, but no. Kept going down, down, down. Turned off here to get to the campsite. So Gant got to the campsite, and um, they'd come up with a plan to go from there to Johnson shut-ins. So went from Hazel Creek down here to the campsite. Rent past the campground store here. Oop, look at that. That is the parking lot in which we park. And uh, did a little hammock camping back up in here somewhere. So that was a pretty decent night. Um, got some really good steak. Uh, and then we went to. Tom Sock from there. Little bit of a. It was kind of one way or the other. About the same. Um, but there is a trailhead. Yep, there's a trailhead right here. So. I think that's it. 
Yep, that's it. So we uh, hit the Highway 21 trailhead, and the goal was to hike on up to um, the Tomsaw campground. We uh, parked uh, my vehicle here at the state park and drove back down to the Highway 21 trailhead. So the goal was to hike from here, the Highway 21 trailhead, uh, on up this trail, come up this way, up the mountain, and uh, I think we're, this is the parking lot somewhere around in here, and Mina Sauk Falls was where we were going to go get some photographs. Unfortunately, I got somewhere right up in here and could not go any further. So I uh, took this, which is actually a, a private uh, road up here uh, to get rescued. I did manage to get some uh, nice photos. Okay, only three. And two were at the same place. I don't know. Maybe I knew something was up. I don't know. At the end, I could barely go very much. But around 11, I got my heart rate up to 161. And uh, I got some <laughs> a lot of alerts after that. 11 alerts uh, saying that I had rested for more than 10 minutes and my heart rate was still above 100. And looking at uh, my Garmin Connect, it thought I went up 60 floors. <laughs> um, you know, I, I did get all of my exercise in for the day. And a lot of intensity minutes. Uh, the next day, I went home uh, after I got back to my car. Uh, but the next day we went down to Johnson shut-ins with Zara and uh, I did take a few photos there uh, from the you know boardwalk uh, paved trail down at the at the creek and uh, made some doctor's appointments so the doctor uh, hooked me up with a um, heart monitor so I wore, wore it for 14 days and uh, got some you know, weird heartbeats uh, back <laughs> that one looks really bad look at that just dropped off um, I think that's almost normal but here's the bad one. new onset atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation is an irregular and very often uh, very rapid heart rhythm that can lead to blood clots in the heart, increases the risk of stroke, heart failure, and other related complications. It, the heart's upper chamber beat chaotically and irregularly out of sync with the lower chambers um, and can cause uh, a lot of stuff like uh, pounding heartbeat, shortness of breath, and weakness. And apparently, uh, in my case, extreme bouts of complete lethargy, uh, which meant that I couldn't walk more than 100 yards. So after changing doctors uh, and getting confirmation that I can hike, uh, I found uh, Spencer Creek Trail, uh, which is my start uh, back into hiking uh, where maybe I can work myself up to um, you know getting back in the nature trails and go back to Tom Sock and beat that trail so as part of my starting rehab uh, I am doing Spencer Creek Trail Loop 
and uh, it's kind of reminding me why I hike the uh, outlying trails, uh, mainly because there's it's just like really and truly through a neighborhood. Neighborhoods, it's a seven and a half mile basically flat track. I started at the uh, St. Peter's Rex, Recplex, which, uh, considering a membership there, mainly for the uh, saunas and the uh, you know cardio equipment and stuff like that for uh, rainy days and stuff like that. So I won't have a valid excuse, and I would have the. Well, I am paying for it. Anyway, I'm a little over a mile, and uh, I don't know if you can see the couple up there, uh, but they passed me. I am pitifully slow. egregiously slow but I'm walking so I didn't think I could handle Lewis and Clark just yet uh, but you never know I'm also using this um, contraption that I uh, made up seeing some problems with it uh, mostly that uh, there's nowhere to get air in to the bottle so uh, occasionally I have to blow down the tube which clears out all the water and um, I don't know. It's nice and convenient, but I mean, I could still pop it off my shoulder and drink. Or, that was a squirrel. Or, um, I don't know, this is for mainly for having it in the backpack. So, instead of a water bladder, you got a water bottle. And yeah, that has a Salud uh, Mango Chili Lollipop, which, yeah, it's kind of weird as it sounds, but it's kind of nice having a spicy kick to your beverage. So I'm going to let this three minutes go and um, see how far I get. Plan is to go two miles, turn around, go back. Because, uh, you know, I don't know what shape I'm in after being so sedentary after having to be rescued off that trail. So I come, some of it's pretty cool. Because here is a freaking covered bridge, man. It's pretty cool. And, uh, I'm guessing it keeps going this way. So I'm at 1.78 miles and um, a little tricky turn, but uh, walking past some apartments. I don't know what that's complaining about. But I'm about to get to and uh, maybe even cross over that if uh, not 0.2 miles or less. But uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, four miles is about where my tolerance is for today on flat ground. I guess I'm glad I didn't do the five mile wilderness trail that I was going to do. Maybe I can do that next weekend. I don't know. Despite the uh, the map showing all the twisting and turning and all this stuff, looks like they've put a tunnel. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if all trails is just really outdated and they, this is very recent. Which, judging by the condition of it, it could be. But uh, walking under the road was a lot better than all of them running around. Looks like it's been here long enough to get several rounds of graffiti uh, covered up. And it looks like that was the uh, two mile mark uh, for me, anyway, starting out. Hold on. Yep, but it was only 1.8 miles for all trails, which I started at the car. So, started the watch uh, a little bit before I started all trails. So, uh, the watch takes a little bit to get uh, GPS. But all trails is a little bit faster for that. So, I'm going to go another 0.2 miles and uh, then turn around. So all, all trails just hit two miles, but just for a little safety margin, I'm gonna go ahead and walk across one of these, or this bridge, which uh, the trail has quite a few. And there's Spencer Creek, very, very trash filled. Creek. Anyway, it's got lots of connectors like that. Uh, trail goes on that way. It's got doggy pots. And this is where I am turning around. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting little trail some point not too long i hope to do the whole seven and a half to eight mile miles of it uh, that's not going to be today so there is a danger with uh the trail where you go on some of these neat wrong turns and run into um It's actually a uh, subdivision, community, whatever. But just walked. It looked looked like it was the trail, and uh, it wasn't. So uh, walking back across the creek. One of the things about the uh, the watch too is that uh, it really is sensitive. Uh, I mean, if I pause, I should have remembered this. Anyway, if I pause, the watch is like, oh, you've stopped walking, I'm gonna pause. And it, then it takes a little bit to pick back up that you're walking. So yeah, that's a little, a little annoying at how extremely sensitive it is. There's a drainage pond there. Anyway. So just paused for a little bit to 
say, hey, someone's got a hammock set up up there. Ah. But yeah, I am 3.1 miles in and the watch still thinks that I am paused, even though I am obviously not. And, um, squirrel! Now the watch thinks I'm moving. Stupid. So other than short pauses, to like read a plaque or uh, take a photo of something, I've uh, pretty much been constantly walking for 3.44 miles. So, uh, I'm winded. I have experienced uh, a little lightheadedness on the trail. You know, not frequent or bad, but uh, still there. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to think of, well, you know, it would be really freaking nice to sit down. But I've got less than a mile to go, um, I think, back to the car. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And uh, hopefully we'll not take a break before I get to the car. And this, uh, I may have done this because this little bridge walkway thing here is cool. So this is pretty pathetic at uh, about 3.6, 3.7 miles. I've been thinking how freaking lovely it would be to set my fat ass down and stop walking. I haven't. Uh, my trust in humanity is I am looking both ways before stepping onto this uh, closed off road. Anyway, I'm now at 3.99 on my watch, and uh, I seriously considered cutting through there to get to the car a little quicker, but I'm going to go the, the path. Yep, four miles. I'm doing 19 and a half minute miles, walking on flat-ish paved areas and uh I suck I really really suck this is pathetic I do not like myself right at the moment didn't know that on my little walk I'd be serenaded by polka? Live polka? I don't know. <laughs> so back at the car. I uh, survived a little over four miles uh, without stopping for any significant amount of time or sitting down. <sighs> Fuck. It's sprinkling a little bit, so glad I got back at time. Uh, yeah. So everyone check out heart.org for slash HF for uh, heart failure, signs and symptoms that you can look for. Um, just be aware there's some uh, hiking after heart failure blogs and stuff like that so I'm fairly um, hopeful <laughs> and there's also Harvard 
uh, hiking can raise your heart rate and your mood. So check it out and keep hiking. And hopefully I'll be back to hiking in the woods and hammock camping and getting high. Gonna get up to the highest point. Yeah. Woo!